Hey everybody, Whip here, and welcome back to the X-Life server where Flip the Slime Man has got a few deals he's got to conduct to get this episode started. But first off, there is a lovely watering trader right over here that we can check on and see if we're getting any good trades out of you. What do we got there? That is our, um, that, that sword looks a little familiar there, huh, buddy? Uh, well, that's cool. Uh, what we can get, though, is two more leads out of these lovely guys and a little bit of leather, and you made me break my flower! First off, we got a few trips to make around the server to drop off some slime balls, drop off some UO flip signs, and from there, my friends, we're gonna be working on the base today, and if we can manage to get enough levels, we're going to the nether, so let's get to it. A while ago, I decided to help Jimmy rebuild his house a little bit out of the lakeside shack that it was beforehand, and this is what we've got going on now. It's super sweet. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave this guy right here. He only needed three, but we're going to give him four. And where are my signs? There we go. Put him in my giant chest. There we go. You owe me from Flip. Perfect. What should we cash in the IOU for old Jimmy boy here? First off, first and foremost, I've got these lovely eggs on me that I literally am not using for anything. Much better. I think that is much, much better. Let's get out of here and close that. Nobody's coming out with us. Next up, my friends, was to be meeting up with Callum, and he wanted to actually come over and stop by the base and see it a little bit and see what we got going on here. And I'm currently the only one online, and so in order to wait for that, I think it's time I'm gonna spend a little bit of time planning out a few new sections of the base, and we'll see where we get from there. For the sake of efficiency here, before I actually get started on planning out the base, because we're going to be in the area for a while, is we need to breed up these guys for one, because I need a lot more cows to try and get some enchanting set up, because I need a lot more books, and I need a lot more pretty much everything. And then after we bred these things up, we can go ahead and yoink one of them out of there, and we're going to be throwing it in my newly upgraded stone tiny mob farm. So what we can do with this guy is drop him in here, Right like that, and then that'll slowly, I think it's 40 seconds, we'll get loot out of this cow. And we can do this, and we do that, and it'll automatically suck down into the chest there, similar to how we're getting the eggs and everything off of this uh, tiny mob farm. I have been a little busy, my friends, and we've got a new layout for the entire thing, which we'll get to here in just a moment, but there's a chest that I've been walking by literally the entire time working on this place. Enjoy the power of magnetization. It looks like Joel is, uh, <laughs> he's dropped off the magnetic book. He either slipped it in here while I was building this thing, or I completely missed it while I was building this thing. But anyways, give you all a little bit of a walk around of what we've got going on here. I wanted to build it in so all of our structures are connected in some way. So this is going to be a whole roofed in area right here. And you can see that we connect into our previous place. We're going to mix mix up that window and everything in there. But then we've got a long open area right in here. We've got another long open area right over in here. And then we've got a little bit of a spot for a tower. We have a friendly llama that we're keeping now. I tamed him. He's great. Then we've got another spot for a big building over here with another little tower bit on the corner. We've got this amazing little pond that I've been working on that's going to have the water flowing out. Come down here into another larger pond that's probably going to be a rectangle shape reaching across this way right here. And then I want to have it going into like a little bit of an aqueduct of sorts and then cascading down the hill to where we'll eventually have a pathway that'll get us up to here. What we've got in here though is we've got a bunch of polished granite slabs and we've got granite pavement, which is an awesome block. But anyways, in this back spot all the way back over here is I want to do a large garden. I want to make a very beautiful, pretty garden area. We're going to have a retaining wall around this entire place. So the only way that you'll be able to get in or out is going to be through the front entrance. So I've been going for a more of a whitewashed area here with a lot of warmer tones being the granite and everything like that. I'm not too sure what I want to do down here. Honestly, part of me just wants to turn it into path block. I feel like path block in this area, one would be mob proof and might actually look pretty cool. I like the color of it, but if y'all have any other ideas on what we can do down in this spot here, let me know, but we're going to try this for now. I know that'll mean we have to fix up that whole lower bit right there, but that's fine. And then the important part of how we're going to be bringing everything into these sections here is I want to bring in a bunch of these marble pillars, similar to the style that we're going with that guy right over there is I want to stack this marble pillar going up probably four tall four tall or so will be where we want to take this one and right here i'm we're going to get rid of this wheat field by the way that was very much a temporary one and we're going to bring you all the way up to being that four tall point as well and then on top of that we can grab in some marble brick stairs marble brick stairs and then this is where we're going to start bringing in a little bit of our smooth quartz the smooth quartz is going to actually this one's going to go down this one's going to come up here i kind of want to have a straight line 
but we'll see. We'll test out two different ones of these right now and see what looks a little bit better. So we can either do something like that or we can do something like this. I think this one, the straight line, and then I'm going to use the same spruce slabs that we did and everything for the rest of the roof going up and kind of the way it's arching backwards and everything. Honestly, this building right here might just need to be redone in general to make it a little bit taller. I think taller would work a lot better on that one. But anyways, I think, I think I'm going to go with that one here and we're just going to take that all the way around here. All of those pillars, so it's going to feel very, very whitewashed and just beautiful and colorful in this area. And do we have any hanging? We have hanging roots. Not quite what I was hoping for. Do we have any flower pots that hang or anything like that? Looks like no, but I've heard... Uh, Joel was talking about it a little while. Let me go see if we can get some leaves and mess with this right here. Apparently, I only have two oak leaves left to my name, so that's a bummer. Anything in our backpack? Oh, sweet. Perfect. 22. That should be all we need. And getting a few flower pots for ourselves, connecting these last little bits up here. I want to test out this idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but if we do a flower pot right there, we do, that can't go inside of it. But if we bring just one of these hedge walls down, I'm interested to see if that can make it look almost like it's a hanging plant. I gotta say, I have a disappointingly small amount of flowers. <laughs> Let's try just with an oak sapling for now. This should be able to work out pretty well. I know those can go in flower pots. I kind of like that. I don't know about you all. Let me know what you think about that one. That kind of looks pretty cool. I think every every wall is a bad idea. So maybe we break you and uh, get you back and we do every other because then that would give us to like one right here. Or maybe we do one right here, one right here. And then we do that one and then the far one. And then that would keep it to being one on this and then we're gonna be this one is intentionally one short on this side but i think that could be kind of cool i like that i have been extremely busy building over here and i think it looked great i've got this area starting to wrap around the sides a bit and i need to figure out the ponds out here in the front but this view right here with all of this coming in together is really really making me happy i can't wait to get these structures in the back i have some great ideas for working with a lot of the colors. I almost wanted to move into like a Santorini grease style with like the white and all of the blue. But I think instead what we're gonna do is like this kind of this red tone as well to mix it up because then we can still use the spruce wood. And then we can get a bunch of stonecutter villagers or mason villagers as they might be called and get a bunch of bricks and do a lot of cool work with the bricks. And then that makes these kind of blend in a little bit better. But in the meantime, my friends, we're going to go jump into some back-to-back -back clips that I just got out of recording. We're going to go meet up with Callum first and foremost, give him some slime balls, and then we're headed over to Joey's base. Did you bring the stuff? Yes. I mean, I, I, I got the stuff. I the, see you got the, the stuff. stuff. The stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do we throw it at the same time? Do we trust each other? Yeah. See if we can get this <laughs> perfect timing for the entity wipe as we... Uh, Throw oh, right oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> wait, did it just did it just happen I, or is it It was like two minutes ago, we're fine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw mine now. Alright, I, I threw a few extras okay. in there for you too. So I, I want to keep the price even. I charged Scott That's uh, very one nice. diamond for ten, so uh I'll give you the same. Thank rate. you. Thank you very much. That's I've done two trades today now. Well, uh, one diamond for ten slimes and one diamond for sixty-four leather, which actually isn't Ooh, that that's bad. A, that's I did a good only one. need I only needed 12, I swear, to make the maximum backpack, but he said 64, and I didn't have anything else to trade except diamonds, so... Hey, look! A transition! Ooh! Okay, so I see in the distance that there is a four-heart clubhouse over there. Yes, yeah, it's a little bit of throwback to Kids Next Door. Uh, gotta go back to the childhood <gasps> on this one. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't even think about that! That is so cool! Yeah. Um, okay, so you built that all yourself? Yeah, and somehow it didn't die in the process, so I uh, think that's pretty good. It's it's four hearts <laughs> safe, as, I, as I'm liking to say about it right now. Oh my God. That would have been so funny if you were building a four heart clubhouse. <laughs> my my secret plan there. for it was, because I put the four up there, I was just going to scratch it out and write a five instead and say it was <laughs> a five heart clubhouse. But uh, oh thankfully God. I didn't have to do that, so it worked out pretty yeah. well. Yeah. Are you going to make a clubhouse for every time that you die? Not saying that you're going to die, but like... I, I'm hoping I can at least live in this one for a little while now. We can all hang yeah. out there before uh, that happens. But I know since this has happened, a few other people have uh, talked about making their own clubhouses. Like uh, Scott was on <laughs> earlier and he's working on the two heart clubhouse right now. So, Oh my gosh. It's so hard to last that long with two hearts. How, how, what were your deaths? um very very sad i lasted 40 minutes death by crocodile nine minutes oh. death by crocodile oh no 
<laughs> Since you are like the king builder of the server, I was interested to get your take on my new builds. Okay. Uh, so first of all, first impression, what are your thoughts? I love all the colors in it. I would say one thing I might change is the roof. Yeah. It just feels a little thick, you know, because like the build down okay. here, you have a lot of detail into it. Yeah, with, yeah. Like you have a lot of the depth inside of this one and the fences uh -huh. and everything going around it. But then the roof feels a little just blocky compared to that. Okay. And I, yeah. I don't know if those bamboo ones have like slabs and stairs and everything. They and do have stairs. Stairs could work or there was the I might have some of my backpack. I don't know if you're looking at it, but there's I oh, use this on the clubhouse. There's the reed thatch block. Oh, if you haven't checked that one out. And this one, I think, also has a vertical slab, which if you're trying to make that really big arched one right there in the center. And yeah. for me personally, I always find those working on evens are a little... <laughs> they're hard. They're hard to do. Uh, we're what do even you building it. Uh, just that? how you have the you have the two wide doorway, and then it comes up to yeah. two blocks at the center at the top. That's yeah. always just a little... Those are a little rough to do, but the vertical slabs, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully in modded, those can actually help with doing, I think, uh, do I? Nope, uh, they're all back at home. It feels like the bottom is so smooth because you have all, like the this pink color right here is right, so, very right. smooth. And then you got yeah. the texture in the wood, which is kind of muted a little bit. It's like a little bit like washed out of sorts. Uh -huh. And then the roof block is just kind of like, bam. True. Okay, I see that for sure. I was just trying to get a yellow color roof. I was going off of the mat. Well, actually, it's not yellow. It is kind of like this Thatcher thing, which I didn't even know this block existed because it's a thatched roof. Yeah. So the fact that there's an actual thatch block, uh, how do you make that? Uh, it's bamboo and sugarcane. So it's oh. actually pretty easy to get a lot of it. I was able to oh. get everything that I used for the clubhouse over there and I uh, it probably took like an hour maybe okay get all well of it. So i can do rough i have a lot of the the outline of this roof is all bamboo uh like blocks that can mm -hmm. be repurposed into regular bamboo again so i can just oh that's nice focus on the sugar <laughs> cane um roofs are just so scary i'm oh, nervous gosh, so I wait know. what what shape how should i adjust the shape with this new block using uh, stairs or slabs if you went with like this front one uh let's see if i can do this here real fast we got that one right there and then that one comes just doing like a is, is that lined up okay no okay. that's wrong okay because <laughs> instead of where yeah for me personally i like for roofs like doing the slabs and stairs and things on them instead of like okay. we have the full block right there so maybe you could bring this out a little bit and then bring it <gasps> whoa, in whoa that already looks so much better and you can even arch that one up even more so it kind of comes up to like this main whoa. central point you did that so fast <laughs> oh my <laughs> god that is so sick i always forget the tools to use <laughs> i'm so new to modded that i don't know anything about what oh to god. use here you only play in vanilla usually Oh, yeah, no, I only play vanilla survival. Oh, wow. This must be like a whole new world for you then. Yeah, I'm just like, there's so many blocks here. I don't even know what to choose. <laughs> yeah. But if you have any like small windows that you're planning on working with, uh, you can uh -huh. kind of angle them around here. And then you can do like this little, I, I love doing this, where you have just like a little tiny upwards divot Ooh. right there. So you have like Ooh, the window would yeah. be like right in the middle of this one. Oh my, you know, I need to just hire you for an extreme home makeover <laughs> edition. <laughs> that is so helpful. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Let me see if I can get down here without killing myself. Yeah, good luck there. You you are at a bit of an angle, so just you should going. be good. <laughs> go. If there's one okay. thing I'm familiar with, that's dirt scaffolding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, sweet. Thank you so much. Um, I will definitely work on this later on but i think we need to get down oh no no keep this keep this i need this keep example it? okay all right <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna forget <laughs> see that there we go that's perfect. perfect and welcome back we went on to look at the clubhouse tour around it talk about a few plans for it but since we already built the whole thing and showed it off a bunch in the last episode i figured i'd leave that one out if you want to go check out that part go ahead and watch joey's video there uh, and then after that, we actually made a little bit of a slime ball trade, you know, got a, got another diamond out of him and everything there. And it looks like, it looks like Scott has made a bunch of flying carpets. 
which can let you fly around, and he's setting up an auction soon. It might be up already by the time my video is out. I'm working on things a little bit of ahead here, just because things have been so busy. Also, this is how much stuff we got out of one cow in a stone mob farm. So I think that's pretty dang good. That's almost two stacks of leather for the price of two wheat. But my friends, it's time that we continue working on our base over here. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. I think I want to spend a little bit of time working on this back structure right here, as well as working on redoing these two over on this side. And I want to keep with this limestone for like some of the buildings. So I think this one's going to be limestone right there. Obviously, we'll keep that. These both right here, I think are going to be largely out of the marble stuff because I've been gathering up a bunch of it. But I'm just going to spend a little while building on here and just kind of messing around with things, seeing what I can come up with and going from there. I'm not going to do a time lapse because I really don't know what I'm building. But if I find anything cool and fun and things like that, I will bring you all back in to show you. One thing I do want to point out, though, is we have that mod where you can double stack different types of slabs. So I was able to do this on the inside and I love it. Also, wow, I'm outside without armor on. Put it back on. So a little bit of an update up here is I have this window <laughs> developed on top of it. And I've got the lower area right down here worked out as well. So we got a big old doorway that leads us in here. We are using the lovely framed glass, and I think it's awesome. I'm just kind of dotting it in throughout these places, doing some cool stuff. I think along like this bottom area, I want to put like some benches and some greenery and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool. And then we can also add in some of this polish here to make it feel a little bit better framed up and everything. But I'm leaning towards making the roof on this side guy right over here being a flat top, a rooftop area where we can hang out. Let's go with that. That's how we're gonna say it here. Uh, so we've got this one up here, which is very cool. This will be kind of like our secondary. I think our bedroom's gonna be moving into the second floor up there, because I think that'd be pretty sweet to have a bedroom with that window looking out over this uh, bamboo. That's what we're looking out at right now. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. Just want to give you a little bit of progress update. And I've got an iron trap door up there to help kind of smooth that curve out. I think it worked pretty well. And then that's kind of the line where the roof's going to go. Also, I found out with these lovely things, if you stack a third one on top of them, they get even taller and even skinnier. So in the very pointy tops of the builds, I think we're going to do that just on this very like drastic point. Our base is slowly starting to attract a bunch of cats because of the village down below. But oh my gosh, everybody, look at this. Just look. Oh my gosh, I've been slowly ignore that right now. But just look at down here. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. I can't wait to have this water fixture coming down. I moved the wheat field over back here and actually expanded it for where our garden area is going to go. That wheat's not permanent over there. But what I've been doing recently is uh, getting my way and my bearings back around like the edges of these buildings. I've definitely I've extended this one already back from like it was here and I extended it to here and I've extended it here again. I'm going with a different building style for how I normally do things. Also, I brought it over like four more blocks this way. Uh, but I'm going with a different building style of I'm building the front. I'm building the front faces of these buildings over here and cramming in as much detail as I want to, making it look all purdy. And then after I'm done with that, because like this wall here is actually supposed to be coming out one to make it even on the whole thing. So it's kind of like a little bit of a guy like that instead of what it was beforehand. Uh, it's slowly just expanding the size of the build because I want to go very heavy detailed. I'm having a lot of fun with the detail like this door right here. That's two doors. These are vertical slabs. So it's really, I don't know. It's so in it's hard to close from that way, but I, I, I think I kind of like it, but I'm going to move that one all the way forward a block. And then this area is going to come up to a flat roof. Like we mentioned, bring in a flat block or another block in. And then I'm going to be bringing in some lecterns, kind of like what I'm doing right here. And these things are a pain in the butt to place down, but and I also, I don't even have an enchanting setup, and I'm using lecterns to detail my area. That's um, that's not a smart move, but it's a move that a builder makes. <laughs> hey everybody, Whip here, and I have a stupid idea. I know we're pretty far into this video now, but there's something over here that I just noticed. That lovely little iron golem right there. So these pillagers, they have their pillager outposts here. They're going to be spawning all over the place. But what I want is I want to get that iron golem in this here lasso i was out trying to find some roses and i got a few of those thankfully but i w oh and there's another one right here perfect thank you we need oh there's one right here too but what i want to see if i can't oh there's so many around here i don't think i can fight fight off that many pillagers but i was gonna say i want to get in there to the iron golem and uh he's coming over here can we you want to run all the way back here and then we're gonna just knock you out <laughs> Aha, before he even got me. Look at that. We're a professional. And we got a Halloween stick. 
No, 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 no. Just even looking at the mini map right now, all of those red dots are. Oh God, no, we are. <laughs> Scratch that play. That is not happening. I do not feel that brave right now. This guy still just wants me. He's just like, I'm gonna get you. Get over here. Come on, over here. Well, thankfully these guys actually don't do damage. They just uh, kind of. I don't know the armor the armor I have right now is already too strong so I don't actually take damage from him so much for that plan but my friends coming back up here to our lovely little base I've been working on adding in the second fountain area down here being this one and I figured some rose bushes right along this point could be a really cool so I want to get rid of you and I have some dirt on me so we can do one right there and then I want to do the same thing over on this side as well and then we'll get nice little bits of grass right in there we've got our second pond down here below I know it's super bright and super shiny and just colors all over the place but I'm kind of loving it what I'm gonna do also along this is bring in some of this stone and stretch that going all the way around and have a too thick border of stone so we can have a bit of a pathway going around this point and then I think I'm going to do the same lily pads. And I don't think I'm going to put one of these in there. I don't think I'm going to put the little statue-ish thing in there. But I do want to come back in here and work on that area a little bit further. You know how I had said I had already moved this wall back like four blocks? Well, my friends, we got a little bit of terraforming we need to do. Because it's going to be coming all the way back out to here, I think. I've got the roof mostly worked out up there. I just am filling in the blocks and everything like that. Let's get this little guy replaced right in there. This wall is also going to be coming down a little bit further. I got one little bit I got to finish up on there. And then I, the window would be coming into this point later on. But that's something I can tackle later. Let's first and foremost check out what we got going up on here. Very much mimicking what we did with our original starter base is I want to bring in those double wide windows. So we've got three of them in here and we're using this type of framed glass instead. And honestly, I might go change out the glass in the other place. Did I really put one here and then put one right? I'm really dumb. Uh, but anyways, that's what we got in here. We've got a nice little uh, dark oak door instead of this place. And then I need to dot our iron trap door in there. It just helps to kind of round it. The color is mostly the same. It goes a little bit more irony instead of white marbly. But I think, you know, that's literally the block. I want to put some greenery things up here and put some benches. I need to get two more lecterns into there. But let's take a look at this in the morning time which we can do right now just like that and we are at the morning and i love it and look at this look at that my friends i love this i think i want to mix that up so it's not just lecterns all the way across there i think i might break that up a little bit further and the water down here i don't think i've showed you all this part yet it's gonna be flowing out this way and i've decided i'm gonna do a third pond right here and then an aqueduct of sorts then I need to figure out where this retaining wall is going to go. That's going to be an interesting one. And over here, we've got a small little rose garden of sorts going on, and it's looking fantastic. I can't wait to do these very manicured garden areas. That right there will be removed. That was my staircase to get up above because there's no staircase to get up there right now. On top of that, I've started adding in a few of these little strip spruce log park benches. So we've got two little benches in here, and we can actually sit down on them and enjoy our day. We can look at, look at this view. Look at that view. Isn't it fantastic? I don't really know which one's better, but we'll go with this one for now because it's probably a little more worthwhile at this point. And my spruce tree has grown up, so this one is much better. I was running very, very low on spruce wood filling in the entire roof with all this stuff. But my friends, I think unfortunately that's going to have to do it for today. We did not make it in the nether. We did not make any enchanting because, well, I, uh, I got busy building and I had a lot of fun working on this and I did not want to stop. So I do hope y'all enjoy enjoyed and do enjoy the new base that we have going on here any ideas at all you have for what we can do inside of this base different rooms we should include all that type of stuff let me know down in the comments below let me know down in the comments below there's my face yes but my friends thank you all so very much for watching click that like button if you did enjoy subscribe if you are brand new and i will catch you on the flip side